Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Marley with Duke Schnauzers. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. If this is your first time joining me, welcome. I hope you like Schnauzers because I talk about them a lot. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with me, I'm a small in-home breeder of miniature and toy Schnauzers located in beautiful Tennessee. And I am super, super excited to talk to you guys about something that I implement with all of my puppies and I have kind of taken things one step further um, with the goal of full transparency, which if you've ever purchased from me or communicated with me, I would guess that you've picked up on how completely open I am when it comes to everything. I like to share my processes 100% and I love puppy culture. So for those of you who do not know what puppy culture is, puppy culture is a patented program that was developed. And this program specifically is for breeders to use when we are whelping puppies, when we are raising puppies in the prenatal period, when our mamas are pregnant, there's all these different protocols that we do. And there's different phases of development that these puppies actually have, which is so incredible to think about, but really does make a ton of sense because just like humans, human babies, babies go through different phases of development. You know, first they're, you know, not able to eat real food. They have to be fed by a bottle or they're breastfed and then they develop onto soft foods and they pick up their strength and they're crawling, all these things. And puppies are very, very similar. And through tons and tons of research, um, the developer of the puppy culture program found out that these puppies have very similar stages and there's things that we can do just like with human babies to facilitate each experience, to supplement each day with these puppies and really do things that's going to enrich them in the long term. To put it very simply, because I get asked a lot about what is puppy culture, puppy culture is a program that helps breeders raise emotionally intelligent, resilient and healthy puppies. And the way we do this is by following the puppy culture curriculum. Now this book, let me see if I can grab it. It's huge. Okay, look at this book. It's huge, okay? This is a huge book. And this does not just stop at eight weeks, people. This can go on way further. Um, there is a puppy buyer program that can be purchased. Um, the program's amazing, I highly recommend it. So what I did today is I developed um, a curriculum, which we've always had a curriculum, but I wanted something that was going to be standardized and done the exact same with the exact same toy each and every time. And most importantly, I wanted to be able to give my buyers a real inside look as to what that curriculum looks like, because I think it's super exciting for buyers to be able to engage with their puppy before they, the puppy comes home, to be able to you know, drop in on the live stream and see what we're doing. And now buyers are going to get this. And I hope this isn't backwards. Um, so what this is, is I have developed my puppy culture agenda that starts from birth. Sorry, my dog is scratching. Kelly, leave the cord alone. <laughs> It starts from birth and each day, so you have day one, day two, day three, day four, going all the way down here. And what it does is it actually well, it says exactly what we've done. So you're gonna know when your puppy goes home exactly what we did on you know, the fifth day of life, okay? You're gonna know that we did, we weighed your puppy, we monitored development closely, and that we performed early neurologic stimulation and early scent introduction. You're gonna be able to look at this form, look at the very top where it says goals, where it says early neurologic um, stimulation, ENS starting on day three, early scent introduction starting on day three, monitor puppies weight and development. Those are the main things that we do during the puppy's first seven days of life. They are in their neonatal period, they are very, susceptible to cold stress, to stress in general. Any amounts of that can actually be detrimental to the puppies, causing them to drop their blood sugar, which then means they won't eat. And this is whole cascade. So we really have to avoid that. Um, then little bits at the bottom says that um, ENS and ESI, let's see if I can get this to zoom in here, held on day of dew claw removal and tail docking. I breed miniature schnauzers and toy schnauzers. They get their dew claws 
um, removed and their tails are docked. Um, so we obviously don't want to expose the puppy to too much when that's happening. So let me live, show you one that's a little bit more fun. So now let's fast forward to week three and four, okay, which is the um, transitional to the socialization period. Again, every single buyer is going to get this packet in their Duke Schnauzer's puppy folder when they take their puppy home. So you're gonna know exactly what we did. So for example, that week, we're going to be cuddling with each puppy individually as tolerated. Sometimes puppies, they don't love to be cuddled um, that much at this age. So we really, again, have to be aware of stress to these puppies and we don't wanna overdo it. We're going to be reorganizing the whelping pen to make it wider, give a potty area, give them more toys, dangle toys from the side for them to play with. We're gonna to start to play classical music for these puppies, but of course, we don't wanna overwhelm them, so we're only gonna do it at this point for two hours a day. And studies have shown that exposing puppies to classical music at minimum one hour a day actually does really boost their brain growth. So we really wanna focus on that. It's so good for them. We're going to continue to offer toys, obstacles, tactile and auditory stimuli daily. That really in a nutshell is what puppy culture is. Exposing these puppies to new things, auditory, tactile, visual, and really just getting them familiarized. So that way when they go home, they've seen and experienced so much. There's not gonna be a case where they're gonna be exposed to something unknown and they're gonna exhibit a fear response. Because unfortunately in puppies, true socialization only occurs up until week 12. And the puppy is with the breeder for the first eight weeks of that. And a lot of times puppy buyers get their puppies home and they're not focused on socializing their dogs to fireworks or to stomping feet or yelling. They're not focusing on that. They're just focusing on loving their puppy. And then unfortunately 12 weeks hit and that critical time period has passed when all buyers can really do is just desensitize their puppy to those experiences. And that aggressive aggression piece may pop up. So again, this is why we put so much into this. So for an example, if you were to be um, peeking in on this on day four, what we would do at three weeks, so three weeks old, day four, we would be weighing the puppy, monitoring development, offering goat's milk. We do promote early weaning here at Duke Schnauzers. Um, goat's milk is absolutely wonderful for puppies. It's good for their digestion. It has so much good stuff in it. So we like to offer that starting at three weeks as long as puppies are able to support themselves um, sitting and starting to support themselves standing. Then in the exercise we will perform for them will be, a, it's called a wet feet exercise. Sounds kind of silly, right? And what that is, is we actually get a wet towel, stick it in like a half sheet pan, and we let the puppies walk and kind of squish on that wet towel. So they're getting that sensation of, um, the, the wetness on their feet, but it's in a safe way. It's not like we're submerging them in water. We're not causing them stress. And throughout all of these experiences, we are carefully monitoring the puppies for signs of stress and we are rewarding them for what they are doing because this is big stuff that they're doing, right? For auditory stimuli that day, what we do is we're exposing them just to the sound of a squeaker. So we just squeak, 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 squeak the squeaker. And that's it for that day. Going down further on the list, you'll see those little tiny pictures. So puppies get their nails trimmed every week. We can take it all the way to the very last page, which is usually people's, well, the people that I've shown, because not everybody has seen it. Um, it's the best page, because this is the page that happens right before puppies go home. So lots of stuff on here, super busy. Uh, focus a lot on training this week, keeping them to have their bottoms down so they're not jumping up on humans. When they're asking for attention, they're going to have their bottom down on the ground. They're going to be waiting appropriately. They're not going to be jumping on you, teaching puppies how to sit, and then also um, teaching puppies how to heal on the left side. So a lot of big goals, a lot of big work, heavy lifting for these puppies, but we do truly believe in this program. And I am just so excited to be able to hand this off to my buyers um, for upcoming litters. While I do do this, and I'm doing this currently, I'm not, I had, didn't start it from the beginning and um, I don't want to just check things off after the fact. So 
If you're purchasing a puppy from me right now, you're not going to get this, but I guarantee you your puppy did get the advantages of the puppy culture program, but any subsequent litter will receive this awesome packet. And that is what I wanted to show you guys. I uh, just wanted to sing the praises of puppy culture. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Stop by my website. I have tons of um, photos up of upcoming litters. We have about